The positive test result taking that nurse by complete surprise, but she's now coming forward with her story because she believes it shows the vaccine really works. Circle of Health reporter Denise Dador explains. As soon as she could, registered nurse Lisa Blaze got in line to get the Pfizer vaccine. Vaccinations became available to us around the beginning of December, and I was vaccinated the first week they came out. By early January, she got her second dose, but six weeks later, she started feeling sick, tired, and congested. A COVID-19 test revealed she got the virus. I was very shocked. It's not 100%, as we know. It's 95% effective. Still, how could this happen? Lisa never stopped wearing PPE at work or masking outside her home. She got infected where she least expected it. I had a direct exposure from a close family member. Lisa was hesitant to share her experience because she was concerned about the comments anti-vaxxers might make or that people who are vaccine hesitant might become more so. But doctors say what happened to Lisa is proof that the vaccine works. The fact that she was able to not need to go to the hospital, not become severely ill, truly is a testament to how good the vaccines do offer protection. Dr. Elizabeth Hudson is an infectious disease specialist with Kaiser Permanente. She says she's concerned vaccinated people will let their guard down. Even after you are vaccinated, you still have to be very, very careful, still wearing masks, still physically distancing, still keeping up with diligent, frequent hand washing. But Dr. Hudson adds, the benefits of getting a COVID-19 vaccine are clear. Being vaccinated does actually protect not only the person who got vaccinated, but also helps to prevent them from spreading it to others. While Lisa is still dealing with a loss of smell and taste and headaches, she's grateful she got vaccinated when she did. I truly believe the vaccine helped me get through this kind of unscathed. If the vaccine becomes available to you, please take the opportunity to get it. COVID's real. Um, unless you've worked in the hospital, I don't believe the public truly understands what COVID is really like.